You're about to go to school. In our quest for the Derby winner, we turn to academia, science, to the dosage theory, that arcane abstraction of equine genetics and mathematics that unfailingly projects the Derby winner each year. We go to the hallowed halls of higher learning for the explanation where the eager and probing minds of youth search for the answers. Good morning, class. Dosage theory is based on a list of influential sires called chefs de race. Why are they called chefs de race instead of influential sires? It sounds better. Now, take notes. Questions later. Chefs de race are classified into five different categories, either brilliant, intermediate, classic, solid, or professional, depending on their ability to either pass on speed and precociousness or stamina and maturity. Speed on the left, stamina on the right, classic covers both categories, it is in the middle. The higher the dosage index number, the more speed, that is, the less likely a horse will be able to last the longer distances of races such as the Kentucky Derby. And now, my dear students, time now to arrive at the all-important dosage index number. My aide, Miss Fleshcurry, will assist with the math. Here is the four-generation pedigree of Derby runner Hello. In dosage theory, we assign 16 points to the chef de race that appears in the first generation. Sorry, Lysias is not. Eight points to each chef de race in the second generation. Mr. Prospector, a chef de race, qualifies in two categories. Four points for the brilliant, four points for the classic. In the third generation, we assign four points for each chef de race. Are you with me, class? And in the fourth generation, two points for each chef de race that appears in the pedigree. Adding those points to the respective categories, we total the points in each category. Well done, Flesh Craven. Because the classic category is both speed and stamina, we split those numbers. Now, to arrive at the dosage index number, we divide the points from the speed wing, which total 19 and a half, by the six and a half points from the stamina wing. There it is. Hello's dosage index is 3.0. He qualifies to win the derby. Questions? Yes, Periwinkle. What if a horse's sire isn't a chef de race? Too bad. Dinwiddie? Every horse has a sire and a dam. Don't females count in dosage? No. Mr. Waterpick. Strike the gold won the derby with a dosage of 9.0. Isn't that too high? Ah, but he qualifies now, Waterpick. We just made his sire, Alidar, a chef de race. Then the math changes. Voila, a dosage qualifier. Under the magic mark of 4.0. What did his train in Exito think? Think it's voodoo? Think it's witchcraft? He said it was a statistical anomaly. Does dosage work as well for the Preakness and the Belmont? No. That's all the time for today. Your assignment is to pick the winner of the Kentucky Derby using the dosage theory. Class dismissed. And so we leave the Ivy Covered Institute well assured of yet another Derby winner. Genetics. Mathematics. Dosage. I had no idea, Professor. None. Now